Hey guys, yep, you're getting me, no makeup on, hair up, ball cap on. You know, of course, got to always be promoting. Um, but anyways, I, I did want to talk to you about something because um, it's so very important. I just got back from New York. I had a brand new Market Partner launch and also uh, did a meeting there for some training uh, this weekend. And I'm going to tell you guys, if I had not been there face to face with Madiha and her uh, husband and the guests that they invited, there was no way that they ever could have gotten that feeling over, even a Zoom, guys. It makes all the difference in the world to being face-to-face. -face. I can't even begin to tell you. Is that uh, possible for everyone? Absolutely not. But you know what? People need to see and hear your excitement. Now, events, they don't have to be lavish, right? We had chips and salsa at um, a Mexican restaurant, you guys. And so it was, it was you know, very uh, laid back. We just laughed, had a good time, got to know each other. But you guys, events can just be you and one other person. It does not have to be this extraordinary lavish thing that you do. No, it shouldn't be a, you spending a whole bunch of money on working your business. But you know what? If someone is truly interested in taking a look at your business opportunity, buy them the glass of wine or buy them the guacamole. It doesn't matter, right? Invest in your people, invest in yourself and know that you are worthy of, you know, really being in the, you know, being successful in this business. However, I am going to tell you though, if you partner up with other local market partners, that's a great way to increase, you know, the attendance of your events and to give you even greater energy when you're, uh, you know, with someone that's, ex with, with someone that's excited. So just remember, be consistent with it. Pick one night, one night um, every single month, minimum, minimum, at least once a month, a face-to-face -face meeting. You guys, we have until Saturday at the end of this uh, week, before the end of this month, schedule an event this week. You guys have a great opportunity to have a watch party for Q1 Awards, right? So um, we're doing a really fun uh, pool party, bring your best float, and we're gonna have, we're gonna have contests and do drawings, but you guys, whatever it is, whether you do talk about Tuesdays, whether you do Margarita Mondays, uh, Wednesday maybe is a wine and wash. I, it, it doesn't matter. You've got to get out there. You've got to get your face out there. And um, yes, it's five o'clock on time. Yeah, Lisa, I, I, I try. I try when I'm not traveling because I do have to put that caveat in there. You know what? I would rather, you know, miss doing stuff on social media to be face to face with people. And you guys also, you know, it's great when you're out and about work your business partner up um, I'm gonna partner up with the nutrition place here um, we're gonna do something together I have done it at boutiques uh, including mainstream uh, boutique and uh, the slip they're all independently owned so these these women also want you know their business so you work with them uh, you work with your contact list they work with their contact list and you do something you know to benefit someone else and help them with their business as well while it's helping you at the same time. So the other thing is, is that no matter, this is where I am in, in, in my business. Now, can everybody do this? No, they don't. But if somebody is coachable and they're willing to listen to me and they have their face-to-face -face launch party, they chose me. I'm going to make every attempt to get out there and help them, per, you know, personal, I'm gonna invest in them and help them launch their business. So um, the other thing is, is that you guys think outside of the box. What's fun? What's creative? Maybe you can couple this, you know, you can do Monate with a book club or um, what are some other things that, that people were doing that were really cute? Uh, well, I know that, that Brittany and Connie, they put on these beautiful events. They're awesome. They have so many people in Southern California. But, you know, get together and, and brainstorm. They did a high tea and that was really, it looked really a lot of fun. Everybody got dressed up in their big old hats and they had stations. Now that's a little bit bigger and it requires a little bit more planning, but you guys have an opportunity to do one virtual event and one face-to-face -face event this week before the end of this month. The power of one, remember that. Um, also, I'll get uh, Phyllis um, to, uh, she gave a great acronym this morning on Clubhouse and I didn't have time before I went live to get it from her, but I will get it from her. She's the queen of acronyms. And she, you know, she was like, you know, the E was for excited, uh, V was for venue, um, the other E was for expertise, um, the N was for networking, and the T was, I forget, uh, I, I'm stuck on that last one. So anyways, always remember that this business, everything that you do in life, 
always, always have, you know, have fun. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that, um, you know, fun is, a, is, is kind of a hard thing to come by, especially right now. Um, you know what? But make it your own. Do what you love. And you guys, maybe it's just to teach someone, hey, let's do Monate and I'm going to teach you how to knit. Maybe you have a special skill set about that. You guys, people, we have people in this business that are, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, award-winning, um, you know, horse people. If, if that's what you love to do, talk about that and, and wrap your business around the things that you love doing. Um, like you guys know, I love floating and I love being out in the sun. So I'm always talking about how great our products are, you know, especially the color protectorant. Ooh, and our sun veil. I'm always talking about, you know, how, how important it is, especially, you know, because I love being outside, but you also have to be cautious at the same time, right? Because the worst thing you can do is, you know, you can, the worst thing you can do is get burned. So anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit about what was on my heart about events. Um, you guys, I want to hear from you. What are you doing for the rest of this week in order to get in front of people? I know that, um, Brand new, she's a former barber. Um, she's got carpal tunnel, so she can't barber anymore. But she signed up to Monate, and she's been going in talking to her barber clients and the barber shops that she helped to set up here in Charleston. So she's got two appointments set up tomorrow, face to face. So I just want, Courtney, by the way, I'm super proud of you. Um, and also, you know, all the new people that we've had that have joined up. Um, I'm launching Nicole this week. Uh, she's also here local. Um, I would just went up to New York. I'm working uh, with somebody that's in Miami and uh, potentially somebody that's in Iowa. So you guys, you just never know. You just never know. But plug in, make sure that you're thinking outside of the box. You know, partner up with other people that own businesses and work it together and do something together. And you guys, I'm going to tell you, when you get regular in your business and you're having regular events, just like we do Clubhouse, 8 a.m. every Monday morning, you know it's happening, right? Unless we're all in Vegas. But you know it's happening. You know that you have something tangible, tangible to plug into. So do that. And you guys, I'm telling you, it's going to be a huge major difference in your personal business. All right, you guys, take care. Love you. Bye-bye.